Sorry about that. We're back. I'm at a loss as to where to go, which means that I must be playing a Super Metroid game that I've never played before. So, the last thing I've gotten right now is the bombs. And I only have five missiles. And thanks to a stupid door that I couldn't get back through, and a speed booster that I didn't have, and a secret that I apparently somehow didn't find, I was stuck behind a wall in Brinstar, and so I had to restore. So now, this is somewhere I don't know if I've been. There's a door that is new. Let's see what happens down. Oh, grappling. Oh, water. Ah, spikes! Ah, grappling! Look at the spikes! Spiked to death! What are you, Mega Man? Alright, let's see if I... There we go. Um... I... Don't think I'm doing anything in that room yet. Alright. Um... Yeah, let's... Stay out of there. Spikes! Why is it that all video game characters are vulnerable to spikes? I can understand it with a few, you know, like... Like, Mario gets hit by spikes and he turns small or whatever, but... Like... Why, why, why do the video game characters that have, like, big buff power suits that they can survive in space and they can, you know, walk in the most inhospitable of terrains and, and everything, why can't they handle a freaking spike? They're made of metal! I mean, come on, people. I really don't understand why they kill Mega Man so easily, but I'm not playing Mega Man right now, so why am I talking about it? But Samus has got this awesome power suit, you know, handcrafted by Chozo artisans from the finest whatever. And, oh, there's that thing again. There's gotta be... Oh, I know where I can go. I can see if I can get that energy tank. And still, spikes are like... Oh, come on. Jump back up there again. I think you've seen enough of me jumping up this one room. Uh, these things are still safe in their in their hidey holes. Right. Here we are out here, out in nowhere's land. Freaking heck! All right. I'll probably have to get up there using these. Stupid flying dudes again. I don't like these guys. Alright. Nope. Where is he? There he is. But it's okay, I'll just wait for him to turn back around. Alright. Fast forward, fast forward. Whoa, a little too much fast forwarding, yeah. Oops. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Where is he? There he is. Oh, nope. Alright, fast forward him. Boing. There we go. I hope the wa the power bombs. What the? There's gotta be something I can get through here. Those are nothing bombs. Bomb bombs! Jiminy Jillikers, radioactive man. This isn't going anywhere. All right. Ah, screw you, Metroid limit. Power bombs. All right. Okay. Let's see if that even did anything. I could just wall jump up this thing. I guess that would. Yeah. Alright, well, I can't get that energy tank until I get the power bombs, apparently. Are there any other stupid doors I haven't been in? Now, the map will say that I haven't been in a lot of places for two reasons. One, this map sucks. And two, because when I had to restore it, there were some areas that I had earlier explored in this video that now I haven't yet. So maybe if I go back to one of those places. Fast forward through the corridor there. 
I tend to fast forward through all the door switches because, come on. What's the point? Maybe there's something up here. I could look at the map to tell me, but the map doesn't work, so... And if there is, it's not in the obvious place. So we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. It's one of my favorite Super Metroid remixes playing right now. Anyways, there's something through here. Bombing through nothing. Alright, where have I not been? I guess I go back down that shaft and I'm dying again. Actually, I know what I can do. I'm going to go over to this acid room. This is the one. Let's see if I can get through here without dying. Ah! Nope. All right. Kill that guy. Oh, come on! Nothing like a good old bomb jumping course. Oh, good, there we go. Go. Let's try that again. Ooh, missiles. Is that all that's over here? Just a freaking pack of missiles? Alright! More missiles! That's... that's cool. I, 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 I can dig that. Yo. Alright. That! I'm sorry about my liberal use of stave states, but this video is going to be long enough as it is. So, I make no apologies. I guess I just did make an apology. Never mind. Ah! Oh, come on. Yeah, I know. Most people oh, watching this kind of thing are used to these half an hour Super Metroid runs, and they're like, man, you're taking so long. Well, maybe I am. I just don't. This is, this is, um, I think a good demonstration of why people who don't like the Metroid series don't like the Metroid series, because it seems that if you don't, like, know the game intimately, that you spend most of your time just kind of wandering around. Aha! But then there's that moment of discovery when you're like, there's something. And I've probably already been over here. No, this is new. This is new. Alright, first let's make sure there's nothing secret down there. Moment of... Where you're like, aha! Found the one freaking bombable block in the entire area I've explored so far. It's going to lead me to my destiny as an energy tank. Oh, there it is. There's the back way to the energy tank. All right. Hooray. Now I won't die as much. I hope. Uh, that's that's the uh, that's the theory anyway. There's there goes that guy. Okay. So now I've got an energy tank, which is neat, I guess. Now maybe I can go down and see what madness I can find. I'm actually going to save it at a save point. Come on. I guess I have another uh, reverse door that I go through at the wrong time. Alright, so let's just get hurt some more. That sounds good. Yeah, that's right. Just fall right on the spiky guy who's not even in. Now, this way leads down to the. What is it? The, the missile we're in here. Is there anything else in here? Probably not. 